Step aside. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Now I just gotta get past that gate. So I loved getting to see this film. I love that we finally have a movie that is the true meaning of Christmas mm -hmm. that the whole family can enjoy. We finally have a Christmas movie about Christmas. <laughs> so, so true. So talk to me about coming in and being involved with the project. I was offered the role of Edith the cow. <laughs> Not sure why they see cow and think Patricia Heaton, but right. I don't think it. Um, and so, um, and I thought she was funny. She's kind of sardonic. She's kind of tired. She's like me, actually. I didn't have to do any research. I knew exactly who Edith was and how she was feeling. So um, it was really fun to do that role, but also to be a part of this bigger project where the, the, the story of the birth of the Christ child is told through the eyes of these animals. And I often think that animals are kind of close to God. They just mm -hmm. are unconditionally loving, you know, and sweet and um, always there for you. So I think it's it's a great way to tell the story and have it be entertaining and still maintain, you know, a reverence for the meaning of Christmas. And you have four boys, mm -hmm. so I can only imagine what the holidays look like at your home. Yeah. But do you have kind of a favorite Christmas tradition or a memory that stands out? Well, um, Oh, here's a memory that really stands out for me. When I, my, when I was growing up, my there were these there's these dolls called Madame Alexander dolls, and they were really mm -hmm. expensive, especially for our house. And I got one, and my little sister got one, and it was I remember it exactly. And I remember my little sisters looked like her, her, and and my brother took a ballpoint pen and took my sister's doll and drew a mustache on it oh, no. the day of that day, Christmas day. Oh. And I said to him. What are you doing? And he said, oh, this just rubs off. Oh, and it didn't rub off. No. And her doll was ruined from, <laughs> that a terrible Christmas movie. That is. Oh, man. And, and, and I love the idea that it gives us the reminder that the Lord has big plans for us. And yes. a lot of the times it's not in our own timing. And, yeah. and it's better than what we could even think of or imagine. Yes. I feel like that is true of your own life. Yeah, it's true too. of my story. I It took me a very long time to establish myself and make a living as an actor and actually it didn't even look like that was going to happen. I, I moved to LA when I was about 29. No agent, no manager, no car. Hmm. Living in a back bedroom, my cousin's girlfriend's mother's house. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was not looking rosy for me and it wasn't until really I got married and started having kids and that things started gelling and I'm so happy that that's the way it went and I've been able to be on two long-running family shows of of really high quality, I couldn't have planned it better. I, in my own plan, I wanted it to start 20 years earlier, mm -hmm. um, but it's actually perfect the way it turned out.